Live from Heritage Chevrolet on the corner of Route 1 and 10 in Chester, it's the Chevy 2009 Traverse Walk Around Competition with Daniel Henderson. Yay! Put your packages right inside. No more lifting up. No more lifting yourself. And hey, a lot of people have that feature. Check this one out. Hold the button again. It closes all by itself. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice vehicle. Show you a few more of the things. When you look at the gaps, all the way down the vehicle, the doors, everything else. And this is a 3.5 millimeter gap top, which that's real class. That's better than BMW. And which is pretty cool. What all that really means is you open the vehicle doors and you shut them on this wheel, how solid they sound. Yes. There's no clunking, no thin metal. This is a real good one. It closes right down. Wheels. We have not Lenny, one. 17 inch wheels. Standard on them. This one here is an LT, so you get an 18 inch wheel. If we went to an LT, LTZ, you would get a 20 inch wheel. We go all the way to 20, we start at 17. Competition only goes to 17. So this gives you all the large wheel look pretty and everything we can right. have. Inside the vehicle, we have all the options that you'd ever need inside. It's eight-way power seat. You have XM radio. We have one star. We have power windows, power locks, all that stuff's standard. Keyless entry so you can get in the vehicle. We have sunroof on it, we have sunroof in the front, we also have one in the back for the kids. Great. So they can look at the DVD Great. player on this one. Wonderful. More and more good stuff, more and more good stuff. Plenty of controls, air conditioning, but they can control the air in the back. You got it in the front, you can handle that too. If you have, if you like an iPod, maybe you have an iPod. Yes. You can have the attachment in there, you can just plug it right in and listen to your music through there. Turn virtual, your car is on five zero. Tell you a little bit about safety with the vehicle. That's a okay. big deal for us. We want yeah. you to be safe. I want to tell you what we do offer. We have kind of a three-pronged approach to it. We have safety before, during, and after an accident. Before an accident, to help you get away from that accident, maybe never, never even happen. Lenny, five zero, Lenny, five zero. You have disc brakes. Kind of take those for granted. They've been around for years. This vehicle's got them in the front. Available self assessment needed in the showroom for help customer you assistance. Help you stop that much quicker. The vehicle also has stability track. I'm sure you've seen the commercial, you know, it's an old insurance commercial where the guy's driving down the road, he's behind this truck, and the boxes start falling out of the yeah. truck, and he turns to the right, and he turns to the left. Mm -hmm. What stability track does, it helps you make those turns. There's sensors in the vehicle and detect when you're turning the wheel and the vehicle's not responding, mm -hmm. the computer applies the brakes in the right spot to make the vehicle turn even a little more for you. Oh, okay. Then if you turn back the other way, it turns back the other way for you. Okay, great. That's before the accident. During the accident, there's beams all in the doors to protect you from keeping somebody inside the vehicle, getting the vehicle from a T-bone shot or something. Let's hope that never happens. We have six airbags throughout the vehicle. There's side airbags, two-stage airbags in the front. There's also an airbag down the side to protect your hips and everything. The pretty neat thing is that I learned at our training thing was that there's a rollover sensor too. And if the vehicle was to hit and roll over and the airbags, the side airbags deployed, mm -hmm. they stay deployed for a little while until the accident is over and everything is safe because you're kind of hanging upside down. Right. Approach. But if you were in a regular accident and the vehicle did not flip over, airbags deploy, as soon as the accident's over, they deflate so EMS can get into you without having to fight get to an airbag. It's just kind of neat. Uh, after an accident. Everything's happened, unfortunately. With those sensors that are in the vehicle, they're also crash detected. You're in an accident. You have a lunch storm. As soon as you're in that accident and the vehicle's detected, it's a front-end accident, they know something's gone off, that sets off the GPS. That tells OnStar you're located in Route 1 and Route 10 Jefferson Davis. Okay. They're instantly contacting EMS. They're telling you it was a front impact. It was a 
side impact, whatever it was, so EMS knows what is it, knows what's going on. They're contacting the police, then they're gonna come over and see if there's anything they can help you with, checking on you, letting you know that they've already done that. Stay where you are, somebody's on the way to help you. And all that's after the accident, so it's still still trying to help you even after the accident. One neat thing too is, with the OnStar being part of the battery system, we've taken the battery, and instead of it being under the hood, it's now in the second row under the floor. The advantage of that is if you were ever somebody, if you're driving down the road, minding your own business, somebody runs the stoplight, hits the whole front of the vehicle, explodes the battery. If we hadn't moved the battery back there, your OnStar wouldn't be going off. To let me know. And the advantage of that is the first 60 minutes of an accident is the most critical to helping somebody out. Yes. So the faster we can get EMS to you, the police to you, the better. So instead of somebody hitting 911, as soon as you're in that accident, boom, mm -hmm. OnStar's are already going on. Great idea. And I'll tell you a little bit about what's okay. up there. Under the hood, you got a 3.6 liter V6 engine, variable valve timing. Most horsepower is class, 281 horsepower. Best gas mileage in the class, too. Long life components under here. You got spark plugs that are good for 100,000 miles. Okay. Antifreeze is good for five years, 150,000 miles. Serpentine belts rated at 100,000 miles. You have an oil-life monitoring system. Okay, what is the oil-life monitoring system? Oil-life monitoring system. What that does, it actually, it's not a countdown. It determines your driving conditions, how you drive, the condition of the oil, and uses that to determine how often it needs an oil change. In the old days, we used to always say three months, 3,000 miles. Three months, 3,000 miles. Not anymore. You wait for the vehicle to tell you it needs a time to change. Well, it'll tell you. So it'll tell you. Don't talk to me. Or? It'll, it'll, it'll come up on the information center and say, change oil. Oh, great. When you have OnStar going on, too, OnStar is going to email you and tell you when it's time to change oil. Oh. Benefits of that is cost. Instead of maybe needing four oil changes a year because you're using three months, 3,000 miles, right. you go by the oil life center, maybe only need two. That's half the cost of oil changes. It's cutting out, it's saving you a little bit of money. Yes, it will. Tow rating on this vehicle with the 281 horsepower is the highest in its class again. Not only you know, horsepower were number one, gas miles were number one, tow rating, that boat you got, when you take it down, put it in, yep. the, put it in the river, <laughs> 5200 pounds rating. Okay. Highest in its class, like I said, no need to burn any special gas, you can still burn your regular octane in here. Okay. No speedometer limits, can't go over 45 miles an hour, just drive like you normally drive. Great. The warranty on the vehicle is extremely good. 36 month, 36,000 miles standard bumper to bumper warranty. Five year, 100,000 miles, we're taking care of your powertrain. That's on us. During that five year, 100,000 mile period, you have roadside assistance. So if you ever have a flat tire, you need a jump start, you need a tow, you lock the keys in the vehicle, you call Chev, Chevrolet, 1 800 Chev USA, mm -hmm. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, they're going to send somebody out for you to take care of that. Free of charge. Free of charge for five years, 100,000 miles. Great. The other really good thing is if something is to happen and the vehicle has to be in the shop for service, yeah. we have to keep it overnight, we're going to get your rental car. They call Curtis of Transportation, so you're not stranded. You're ready to go. Great. Okay, let me do this. I'll show you one more cool thing. I'm going to run inside and get my tag to get you on a test drive. But this is probably the coolest thing. I know my wife loves this on ours. Okay. We hit the lock button one time, mm -hmm. push and hold this circle. So when the winter comes around, yes. when the winter gets here, you get no the defrost working. <laughs> in the summer, when it's hot outside, you get the air conditioning going yes. on before you ride out the go. Let's get you in the car and I'll go get a tag to put on. Okay. Hop on in. Okay.